So we're going to get some of that iron oxide that you can see there. It's that orangey reddish colour. Just get a scoop. Stuff that really stains your clothes. Really stains your clothes. Just a just a scoop like this, and get a whole lot of it like that. Stick it in there. I think that almost do. Just get a little bit more. Terrible stuff to handle. It's really staining. It really stains. Now what I'll do when I get home is obviously this has got clay and other particles mixed up with it. Is I'll separate it as best as I can. So I think that will do for now. I don't need a lot of it. Um, not, don't need a lot of it for demonstration purposes. But. Um, yeah, so that will do for now. I'll just leave that there. That there will do for now. That's small enough to make a little tiny bit of iron. Pig iron, they call it. Um, so, yeah, I'll take that out. Take that out with me. Um, and then I'll show you how to melt it down and process it. So that's pretty much the raw oxide coming out of the fault there. That's the raw mineral. This is the raw mineral here I've got in my hand. So all I need to do is kind of refine it and then melt it down. Alright, so this is the uh, raw material that I got out of the mine. And I've had it sitting in the sun for a few days just to dry it all out. Makes it easier. And you can see how it's still got a bit of moisture in it. But you can see how it breaks up a lot easier now. I was going to um, sieve out all the clay and impurities, but I don't think I really need to at this stage because um, there's not much impurities in it. If there was a lot of rock and stuff, I would, but it's mainly um, pure iron oxide, so I don't need to really separate anything out of it at this stage. Um, but I do need to break it up um, a bit finer because uh, finer particles, when it's heated, finer particles um, will start to turn to iron a lot quicker than the larger particles because um, it melts it quicker. So I'm just breaking up all this with my fingers pretty much, as you can see. Um, and, then I'll, and then I'll pretty much make a kiln, I want to make a kiln, and I'll um, I'll fire it up and and uh, put a flux with it and see if we can add some charcoal and see if we can um, see if we can get some a uh, bit of an iron ball happening. It won't be pure like steel; it'll be pretty brittle, I think. Um, but we'll have a go anyway and see what we can what we can get out of it. Um, we might even make a chisel out of it um, or something like that. You know, a rock tool maybe later on. I'll have to obviously refine it from the pig iron stage and maybe put other alloys, metals in it, but we'll see how we go. Um, at this stage it's just pretty much just drying out. Um, and then I've got to make a kiln because I haven't made a kiln yet for it. Um, and a blower as well. And that's a bit of slate there. That doesn't belong there. <laughs> there you go. So I've got to, I've got to take out... The, it won't matter if it's got a bit of rock in it. Um, it's just that if there was a lot in it, I'd sieve it all out. It's a bit of grass or something. So, yeah. It's just a small batch for now, just to see if it'll work. Um, and then in part two, I'll build the kiln and, and put it all in the kiln and fire it up and see what we can, we can get out of it.